Let's talk about some of the fundamental design parameters that correspond to a propeller and VSP, and the first of which is the diameter. So here you can see that we have six length units set for our diameter, and this could be six inches, it could be six miles. Open VSP doesn't really care because it's effectively unit agnostic. As long as you're consistent in the rest of your model with the length units that you're using, be it inches, feet, whatever, you just have to set up your analyses to have the correct length units as well. So if you're dealing with something like density, which is mass per length unit cubed, then you have to make sure that you're using the correct length unit in that case. So when we're dealing with the propeller, you'll see that we have these indicators uh, down here. This arrow here is an indicator of the direction of thrust. This is a, an indicator of the direction of positive rotation for the propeller. This axis here is your fold axis, and then this circle with the arrow is a positive fold direction. So you have four different indicators here. So if we come back and say that we want to change, say, the number of blades, let's put this at five, and notice that this first blade here in the positive y direction hasn't moved. So that can be can, thought of as, you know, your first blade. The rest of these are distributed radially about the thrust direction, so you have a nice symmetric propeller. You'll notice that by convention and default, the positive rotation of this propeller is rotating right outboard and down. So if you think about it as a pilot sitting behind the propeller, this is a clockwise rotation. If you want a counterclockwise rotating propeller, you don't have to go in and adjust the twist distribution and adjust everything and invert a bunch of airfoils to make that happen. All you have to do is click the reverse button. And what that's going to do is automatically rotate all of this around so that the positive angle reference is now as if it were a counterclockwise rotating blade. And it's going to reloft all the cross sections and everything for you. And that's a really handy feature of this, this component. While we're talking about reversing directions, again, notice that the direction of rotation indicator here changed. Let's give this some 15 degrees of extra rotation. So notice that positive rotation is going in the direction of positive propeller rotation, and it's going around this way or counterclockwise as viewed from the pilot. If we turn off reverse, now it's rotating this clockwise direction. So whether or not you have the reverse flag active dictates which direction is positive for your rotate parameter. So keep that in mind. And finally, we're gonna go over a discussion of how the three quarter pitch or the feather controls the physical placement of your various twist distribution in your blades. So anyone familiar with props or rotors knows full well what the three-quarter pitch is, but for the sake of demonstration, let's see what effect that has on our propeller in VSP. Now the three-quarter pitch is going to ensure that out here at the three-quarter blade radius position, the pitch relative to this propeller plane is going to stay at a constant 20 degrees. Now, if I set this to something like zero, you'll notice that the three quarter position is now zero or parallel with this plane. If I change it to something else, like let's go back to 20, for example, you'll notice that feather is being automatically calculated in order to make this happen. So you can move around the three quarter pitch or you can move the feather around. In either case, it's going to move the entire propeller blade with it. So some of you might wonder, well, what's the difference? And the difference is when you start to play around with the twist control curve, how the twist is lofted. So if we have a fixed constant three quarter radius position and we come here to the twist and we start moving this, notice that the root and the tip are moving, but this three quarter radius position is staying at 20 degrees. So OpenVSB is automatically calculating the feather required to make sure that your three quarter pitch stays constant. If we turn feather on, set this back to say zero, what you're seeing now is that your twist distribution is now effectively your pitch distribution relative to this uh, propeller rotation plane. So we've got about 47 degrees down here at the root, and then 16 and 13. So we can come in and set this to something like zero, and notice how this is now right parallel with this plane, okay? So the big difference between whether or not you have feather or the three-quarter pitch active is going to have a really strong effect on how your blade twist distribution is oriented. So that's how you can implement a few of the design parameters of a propeller. In a follow-up video, we're gonna talk about things like pre-cone, construction axis, 
and the feather axis.